Hi guys, my name is Arvind Maniar, and today we are going to take a topic from prosthodontics, that is overdentures. So, what is an overdenture, and why do we need an overdenture? So, we have an option of complete dentures, but if you need increased retention and support, so at that time we'll go for overdentures. So, in overdentures, we'll first see about the definition. It is a RPD or a CD. It can be a removable partial denture or it can be a complete denture, which covers or rests. which covers or rest on one or more teeth okay and this can be natural teeth this can be roots of natural teeth or this can be dental implants so moving on further we'll look about the types and how it is grossly divided so overdentures are divided into tooth supported overdentures and implant supported overdentures right so in tooth supported we further divided into three types that is non coping 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 can be further divided into short and long coping and the third is attachment in attachment we'll also look for stud attachment bar attachments and magnets okay so we'll see of all these in detail but first we'll see about what are the three types into which a, a, a overdenture can be classified it can be immediate overdentures it can be interim or it can be permanent so immediate is when you extract the tooth when you uh, place the overdenture support the retention unit at the same time at the same appointment that, that is known as immediate overdentures interim is during if you are planning for a long term something some treatment in a long term you are going to give a patient a complete denture or maybe implants or anything like that so in the middle of the treatment if the patient wants something very urgent so we, if we give an overdenture at that time during the course of treatment it is known as an interim overdenture and permanent is you give it up uh, to you construct you fabricate an overdenture you give it to the patient and the patient uses for a long period of time so going on further we will classify all these in details so first we'll uh, take up the tooth supported overdentures and we'll look for the non coping type so what does non coping mean coping means covering basically coping if this is a cap of my pen so this is a coping of the pen okay similarly in overdentures we need a coping we need a retentive unit into which our dentures get uh, retention and support so here in non coping type the occlusal cervical height of the tooth here i have drawn a diagram so the occlusal cervical uh, length of the tooth is uh, reduced by 2 to 3 mm in this cases we expect the patient to undergo an endodontic treatment for the same tooth which is known as our abutment and the abutment the shape of the abutment will be convex dome shape so it is this kind of a picture that we can get and we can also look into the textbooks for the same so moving on further to the coping type of attachment coping is like a covering as i said this is the cover to my cap cover the cap to my pen so this is like a coping so coping will be of two types that would be short and that one would be long so in short type of coping we'll get a dome shape kind of a structure or a dome shape or a convex shape kind of a structure so this blue part which i have drawn here is the coping it can be metal coping or any other coping so in here in short type of coping will uh, reduce it by 2 to 3 mm reduction will be there and there it will be known as an extensive reduction so for any kind of extensive reduction on our tooth we need to get our endodontic treatment done so in a dome shape kind of uh, coping it is known as a short coping and endodontic treatment is mandatory whereas the other the long type of coping is known as a thimbal shape so i've drawn a blue outline over this crown so this is also a prepared tooth an abutment and over this will get a long the crown to root ratio will be much larger here and it is known as thimbal shape here there will be conservative reduction of 5 to 8 mm of crown structure will be removed and for this type if you want to give our patient a thimbal type of coping we need to check for great osseous support that particular abutment needs to have a great osseous support okay so moving on further to the attachments so what are attachment attachments are nothing but small precision units which help us to increase retention so here i have written it are, they are the small precision units and it increases the retention so attachments can be of two types it can be rigid and it can be resilient so what would a rigid one do and what would a resilient one do so if we want more retention will we want more strength uh, it uh, will go for a rigid type of attachment but the main disadvantage here is that more torquing forces will be seen with a rigid type of attachment we as dentists we don't prefer to have more torquing forces on our tooth or on our implants and similarly for resilient type of attachment resilience is nothing but adaptability so if our attachments are adaptable it is good for us because they will provide us with less torquing forces okay moving on further 
to the stud bar and magnetic type of attachments so i'll explain you everything in detail in stud type of attachments we have a female part and a male part okay so this is my ridge i have drawn a diagram here this is my ridge over it i'll uh, make a stud kind of a thing you know a thing with a round or a ball type of a top and this is my denture over the denture i'll have my tooth uh, teeth and tooth or whatever it might be so the male part the male part will be our stud whereas the female part will be on the fitting surface or on the impression surface of our denture this is my denture right this whole thing is my denture i have a tooth so this is the impression surface the surface which will come in contact with my ridges is known as our impression surface so the impression surface will act as my female component whereas over the ridge if i put any extra thing which helps us in retention will be known as our stud so this is basically stud type of attachment next we move on to the bar type of attachment so why do we need bar we need a bar so that we can splint our teeth if our abutment teeth are a little bit weaker or they are having a little bit of mobility for such teeth we can still save we can still preserve our teeth and we can put a bar over it we can contour we can construct and we can connect the teeth together which what will it do it will help to share share the load of the whole over denture on the two teeth as uh, and it can also be used for increased retention so it will splint the tooth it will increase our retention and it will help us in sharing our load uh, the bar type of attachment it is nothing but a bar kind of a thing like my pen the, here one abutment is there here another abutment is there and over this an over denture is fabricated okay it can be made uh, with metal or plastic and further if we move uh, forward we'll go to see about our uh, magnetic type of attachments so they are just small strong mini magnets they'll be very small but they'll have a strong magnetic force in them and they'll be like mini magnets not the one that we used to play when we were children so here this diagram suffices everything this is our mandibular ridge this is our root as i said that an over denture can be placed on our natural teeth our roots of natural teeth or our dental implants so similarly i have shown you a root here we don't have a crown we have to replace it with our artificial teeth so this is the ridge this is the root we endodontically prepare that root and after that we place one magnet magnets we have we need two magnets to have a magnetic force between them so one of the magnets will be placed in the uh, cervical portion of our root facing the north force north or the south pole will be facing upwards towards our denture surface and this is our over denture and this is our replaced tooth so on the fitting surface or on the impression surface of our over denture we'll put the opposite side of the magnet so when we hold we have the ridge here and we hold our over denture here due to the strong magnetic force this will click and it will set what will the magnets do it will uh, prevent easy displacement it would not let the man, uh, our dentures displace this magnetic force will be strong enough to hold our dentures in place okay so that is basically about tooth supported non coping coping and attachment type of over dentures now we'll look about our implant supported over dentures this part is over we'll move forward with the implant supported over dentures okay so here also we'll have a male component and a female component the female component would be our prosthesis whereas the male component would be our implants so here also the male component was our stud anything which protrudes out will be our male component so the implants will be protruding like it would be over the ridge so it will be our male components whereas well the female components would be our prosthesis so in implant supported over dentures what kind of attachments would we need we'll have a ball or maybe bar and clip type of attachment so this is basically a rough idea of our over dentures so i hope you understood what i tried to convey and if you have any doubts you can uh, contact me on my instagram id that is arohi underscore maniar i'll put it in the description box below and thank you for watching